take it off. You want to make sure the buffer is always over the resin. Okay? Once it gets down to this portion, you're going to take this off. Make sure you have a buffer to about this level. Okay? You're going to have your standard and your unknown. Take a point of my pen. Very carefully layer it under the buffer. Under your buffer's up here. Layer it. Okay? This has to be moved to a lower level. Okay. So you're gonna get everything ready like right here. After after you added your sample, you're gonna start collecting one ml. Okay? Now, during the process of equilibrizing and everything else, at that time, you'll take your test tubes, mark, you know, one mil, line them up on your bench, get a straight edge, mark a set, so that you will have one ml that you can see. You should not have it where, where you cannot see where that level is when you're collecting. When this is being collected here. Okay, so here again, you add your sample, open this up. Okay, this does not get open until you added your sample. Okay? Well, excuse me, should they run their sample down into yes. the column before they open the top? No, no, they should, you should, you should run it you're your sample, this should be open, okay? They add it. After you, yes. okay, you go ahead and add it. Everything's added. Open this up. Wait till the level, the top level, because it'll be dark, it goes into the resin, okay? Make sure that you have enough buffer up here, like I said. Then, once it's in here, when you start adding buffer, it's not going to mix it up. Add it up to here, clamp this off. You may get a mill or you may get two. Put this back on tightly. Open this back up and start collecting one of our fractions. Okay, so one of you is going to have to be the fraction collector, one of you, or you have to go to the spec. Right? That, that's external. You have known and unknown. And you need to generate uh, a graph of the profile and a graph of the molecular weight. There's four wavelengths I think you're going to be using as well, too. There are only 11 specs in this room. There's one on in the support room. We have uh, some older ones in the other lab. Those work just as well. It's just that you can't print your results out. You, you blank just like like you would the ones here. Okay. All right. Any questions on this right now? How slow? One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three. It shouldn't be slow.